software to install for this course. In this course, I would highly recommend somebody use both software. And fortunately, this software is free. The first one I will recommend is Report Digitizer. Report Digitizer is a tool for reverse engineering an image graph. And this image graph can be a photo taken from a seminar. It can be a scanned copy of a paper. And with these tools, you will be able to extract the XY coordinates of each data point of a two-dimensional graph. Another software I will highly recommend is GNU Optif. GNU Optif is very similar to MATLAB, with an exception that the installation process is very tricky. And in order to make this GNU Optics as useful as MATLAB, you need to add a little bit of uh, setup files and symbolic length library. Finally, you will also need to install LaTeX. The reason why you need LaTeX is because many journals, many journals and conferences prefer LaTeX. They will accept LaTeX. They will not accept the submitted files in Microsoft Word. There are many variations of LaTeX. I personally prefer CTEX. CTEX is a version of LaTeX prepared by Taiwan National University. In the description sections of this video, I've already included all the download links for this software. All you need to do is to go into these download links and I have also included the installation procedures as well. And you just follow these installation procedures and you will be able to install all this software. For instance, for web plus digitizer, all you need to do is to go into this website and download the software. The software was prepared as a zip file. Web plot digitizer, digitizer minus 4.2 hyphen win32 hyphen x64 doc zip. So all you need to do is to unzip this file and it will end you up with a directory report digitizer. You just go into this directory and create a shortcut pointing to report digitizer minus 4.2.exe. And finally, move this shortcut to somewhere convenient. In my case, I have placed my report digitizer shortcut on the desktop. Again, installing LaTeX is very straightforward. All you need to do is to go into this download link and download the software and install it in Windows. But I need to emphasize, I need to go over the installation procedure of Optics because it's not that straightforward. You need to go to the download link and download GNU log, GNU 
active. Again, all this procedure has been documented in the description section of this video. And after installing it, you need to download the symbolic Python library. And you also need to download Python software and install it. The next step you need is to install GNU Optic and unzip the symbolic library, as I said before. And open the GNU Optics. And in the GNU Optics school, enter the following command to install the symbolic symbolic Python library tar file. By the way, it only accepts tar file. If you don't know anything about tar file, you better take a look in some website. Do a Google search. You won't accept zip file. And step A. You need to add a setup file, so-called start up file. The start up file is inside the installation tree. The link is provided here. And inside the start up file, you need to add a few more commands there. And for the purpose of this course, you need to install you need to add this command pkg low symbolic which means load the symbolic library another thing you need to load is io and windows you just need this command pkg low io and windows and finally you can test it test it in the GUI by submitting this command. So I would like to show you some uh, illustration. GNU Optics. The very first thing you need to do is to install this software, GNU Optics, which will end you up with two icons. GNU Optics command line interface. Another icon is for the GUI. GUI stands for graphical user interface. Another thing you need to do is to prepare the symbolic library. This is the symbolic library. You just need the tar version of this symbolic library. If you don't any don't know anything about tar, then you better do a Google search. In my case, I have got the tar file available. Symbolic minus v minus pk py minus bundle two point seven point one dot tar. You just need to place this tar file in a convenient location. For example, in the top of the C drive or on the top of the D drive. The next thing you want to do is to open this window. So I got it opened here. And you enter the compound pkg low and then the name of this library. The part, the part, full path of this library. In this case, I have teach, I have this file in D drive. And then we turn it.
sorry, I should say pkg install. Not pkg low, pkg install. And I forgot the D, dot dot, the D drive. Okay, it's working now. It takes about one minute to install this software. So remember, pkg install d dot dot double slash symbolic hyphen bin hyphen py hyphen bundle hyphen 2.7.1 dot ta. Now I got this software installed now. To run this software, normally you need to do low and then symbolic every time when you need to run it. But what happened? You forgot it. So my suggestion is you just go into the installation tree. In my case, I've installed the software in D drive and I just go into the installation tree. main w share octave size m and stock up then in this path which i have already provided in the description of this video you need to open this file in the text editor notepad is okay and you need to add a few more commands pkg low symbolic and pkg low io windows and with these two commands then you will be able to use the symbolic library without having to include having to run this command and you will be able to plot the graph now finally you need to test the functionality of this symbolic library all you need to do is to open the optics going and then just type themes x here I'm trying to declare x as a symbolic variable so it will take approximately one minute to run this function okay it's working now with this message here this means the symbolic library is working.